Foundation. A uh, special thanks to my trainer, Senior Master Rog, Rod Ferguson from the Australian Academy of Tai Chi in Chigong. Also special thanks to Samantha Hughes and her team from the Active and Healthy City Y program, sponsored by City of Gold Coast. I want to welcome you back to another session here. Stretching up, sinking back into posture. Always talk about good posture alignment. In other words, a couple of pendulums, what I think of as a couple of pendulums anyway. Going down from shoulders down to heels. And centering all the way through the body. This is most important. Simply just relax. Thanks on. Thanks, uh, relax. Simply just let go. So, we had that equal movement with the, uh, with the feet as well. By the way, equal balance, I should say. So, feet are not misaligned in any way, but we simply sink down in such a way. So, we had the support. And coming up. And this is just a very simple exercise here, just with the hands here and the quadriceps. Um, so, you feel the movement and also you provide that support. A lot of people like this support actually with their hands on their, on their legs, um, simply because they just haven't felt that movement before, unaware of. So this is all about mindful awareness. Mindful awareness about how your body works and how to work with it, please. Sinking down. And another reference you can also use as well, if you put your hands up like this, uh, with the ears and also with the nose, support our people, Bay Way. In Mandarin, Bay Wai. Meet you 100 points. Uh, imagine a string actually which projects up, um, pulling up through the center line, lifting the chin, S H E N, lifting the spirit. Uh, when I'm learning acupuncture, governor vessel 20, or the 20th point on the governor vessel. So, projecting up, lifting up through the body. So, as if we're a puppet, but we're the puppet master. We've got to be in charge, we've got to be. Um, in control of our own body. If we're not, someone else is or some other occasion is. So, easy exercise to start off with. Take into account that centeredness coming down, swinging arms. Love this exercise, I've just come forward just a touch. Always has been loose, agile, and flexible. Only going as far as what you feel comfortable. Perfect exercise just to start the day. Very good for circulation, very good for movement right throughout the body. Arms are flop, it just looks around. Gentle palpation upon the chest and also upon the back. And also coming up on the shoulders and to the back. And this is just a very gentle stretch through the arms, extending through the shoulders, through the elbows through all the joints and wrist and also the fingers as well. Next exercise I'd love to do is the wildcat scans the horizon. And you notice how we use weight transfer. So we transfer over to the right hand side, we extend with the arms. And you see this movement quite a lot uh, in a lot of the exercises we do. Uh, one of them we do is the, um, using the hook, we just come out, we pluck, we come back, and we know to the body, sinking back into posture. I'm just doing the hand exercises here, but we extend out the hook and we push. Coming over to the other side, this is single whip. So coming over, extending out the hook, the easiest way to do this. We sink back into posture and with this edge of the hand, we push. Sinking back and we push up with both hands. So, this movement here, very good form of circulation again. The wildcat scans the horizon. Another exercise we can do simply just for circulation. I'll just slow these exercises down. It's very easy to do them fast. Slowing the exercise down, so my head's down to here. I always have my students, oh, you've got your smartphone, checking out where's the class, so you're looking at Google Map. And the other hand is like, oh, dog is jumping up, so we're patting that dog down. We come over to the sides. We roll. Imagine a ball. You can just roll that ball away, or if it's changing a book from one hand to the other, is also a very good analogy there as well. We sink back into posture. 
See how we just turn through the waist. Very good for enhancing abdominals. Very good massage for internal abdominal organs. Very good for all the regions of the back. So we're taking care of the body. Always doing things which actually enhance the health, improving health, maintaining good health, but also improving the good health of the body as well. Club hands, 10th exercise from Shibashi One or Shibashur E in Mandarin. Hands waving flat arms. So this is an excellent exercise to do. Another exercise, this is the, uh, and I'm just doing the hand movements here. This is the low hand, switch the floor. So you see how the bottom hand just gathers, it comes up, comes down. I always still think of this uh, movement as just pushing over a chair, but it's a light movement. It's not stiff, nothing severe about it at all. And another movement, particularly uh, also from Love Hung One, is a rolling action here. We're just going over from side to side. This is chasing the seven stars. So you can just do this movement alone. Very good for hips, very good for knees, very good for ankles, very good for all the regions of the back, very good for abdominals. We work in the same areas. And I suggest just hands just rolling up. So we're forming that, that um, uh, semicircle just in front of the body. Hands coming from side to side. We can also just push, sink back into posture. At any stage with any of the movements, if you're not quite sure of the movement or simply just want to work with what the movement does, you can also stop coming over to the other side. And that's the beauty of just working slowly. Slowly and carefully, please. Think of that. Okay, so another number of options there. Things to work with. We always need things to work with. Shoulders. Shoulders usually get tense. Um, the motions of anger, frustration, tension, tend to harbour in muscles, tendons, ligaments, usually in shoulders, because this is where we burden ourselves. This is where we uh, carry our responsibilities. So just gently just running back. This is also about opening up the chest, so we're stretching again vertically, projecting up through the body, but also enhancing that movement by stretching horizontally. So we're actually working off two planes at once, and also just coming forward. Making sure we don't slump uh, with the shoulders as well, so we always have that good alignment through the body. And this is what it's all about. And I personally like this exercise. Just pushing out, projecting out with the palms, with the fingers, extending through the joints, and simply just relaxing. We can take hands back to here, back of hands, and start that movement again. So we can project out, as I just did there from before. We can also just go directly to the sides. And we can also take this movement to the back. So we don't need to see where our hands are, where our limbs are, but we do need to feel where they are. And feeling that movement. Simple things like pushing down, pushing up. One of the best breathing exercises you can do is hands just coming up to the eyes. Rolling back the fingers and simply just coming down. Always bending knees, please. But when we do bend knees, always sitting into the body. So I always imagine the body actually becoming, when we sit into a chair, we become the chair. And when we come out of the chair, we actually come out not stiff, but straight in alignment, but allowing for all the curves, particularly the curves around the lumbar region, around the lower back, the curve through the spine, we must allow for that. And the body to relax in support of that curve as well. So coming back. Okay.
Reaching up, pushing down. The movement from the lotus. Emphasis is on the palms to push. In fact, that's just an exercise within itself to roll up the arms and just to push and then to release. Pushing, relaxing. Now we normally breathe through the nose, we breathe out through the nose, but you can also add that expiration down through the mouth. And that's why I use that uh, when I'm doing my mind one. And the only other time I use that is also from here. This is in Shibashi X. Sinking back into posture. And again, we can use the open palm or else we can use the lower hand. And just releasing. This is the low hand, focus is the chin. This is the movement we do in low hand one. But just as a separate exercise. Do that one more time. So it enhances good breathing. It allows the body to sit back into posture. Breathing in, that little forward flowing breath all the way in. We don't hold the breath, we inspire the breath. As fully, functionally and practically as what we can. Emphasis coming out to here. So when we extend, out with the hands. Body is back to support the movement. So shoulders back. So shoulder relaxes in the movement to actually push. So that's that enhancement to push and then to release. So we can also use this as an exercise. And also we get that rolling motion in the hands. The hand can come back as it does with the uh, Lohan focuses the chi in Lohan 1. Coming out, as you remember, we do the first, we do the left hand first, we do the right hand, give me that as well. Now, shoulder width apart, you can come out a little bit further. <coughs> Excuse me. What you can do is actually adjust your stance all the way through as well. So if you Happy with a slightly narrower stance, that's fine. I do suggest coming out to a um, uh, to the horse riding stance. Support. Um, and you can come out a little bit further as well. <sighs> it's sinking back into posture. And then you can adjust that all the way through. So we're not practicing the pistachios, we're practicing to be looking people. Um, another way of doing that, stretching up, stretching down, is to here. Rolling out the hands. From a martial arts perspective, this can be a block down, it can be a block up, or it can be a strike in both ways as well. So our hands just rolling over. See how the hands just release. And you'll see how we do this also in the uh, low hand uh, reclines upon the pillow. When one hand is up, the other hand is down. So it's a difference of here. This is the monk, the meditation we use. This is the movement that we do also from uh, the warrior monk, skits quarter, and then we come up. So really what we're doing is simply just piling the hands to there. Rolling over hands, pushing up, pushing down, and hands us across the chest. Very good diagonal exercise again. To push, and then to release. And that's both on the chest and also through the back. So any congestion within the chest, I always suggest this. People who have asthma is a very, very good example, actually. This enhances breathing. See how the hands just, oh, just release? And they're like chips in the night. They just burn. This is the young aspect. We push out, we project, we focus. We release. Focus. Project. And then release again. Excellent exercises to do. Simple one just for arms. Uh, I'm, yeah, I do this one every day too. 
And by the way, it's, uh, my partner Kazza, who does all the knitting, I thought I'd show it off. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. They're just a different, different set today. Okay, so I get her to do exercises like this and simple things through the joints. And you can also do things like this. This is from Flying Gears. This is coming up. Good exercise again for joints, working through all the joints of the fingers and also the wrist, um, elbows, shoulders. It's a great exercise. Oh, so can be numb. And don't forget this one. This is the grasshopper. Shakes off the dust. Twelfth exercise from Shibashi 2. So coming down to hips, rotating through the hips. There's so many fun things you can do. Okay. Rotating through the hips, knees, and also through the ankles as well. Very good for abdominals. I always think of this as a very good exercise for actually for internal massage for internal organs. And it's winding down like a spring. Many times they do get out of place simply through stress alone, uh, from sitting too long, just sitting in awkward positions. I know a lot of gamers do that. They sit and sit and sit because they don't want to lose their place. Um, so they sit in very awkward positions and actually just create more stress upon the body. This is about relaxation. Okay, so the organs need to come back into the normal positions and function effectively and efficiently. Feet, transferring weight over the right hand side, we sit back in the posture. Love to do this exercise because it is simply just relaxing. Weight just goes directly down. Placing that foot down. See how I can just place the foot down without actually transferring weight. So the next thing is to make sure that you actually have a safe environment first, transferring the weight over, sinking back in the posture, again, both knees bend. So we're using all the muscles, tendons, ligaments actually around the knees themselves. Placing the foot down. It's like we're going out at a 45 degree angle. Okay, from here, you can stand out, you can, I talk about a short, a medium, also a long term position here. I'll take the long term position here and just rotating off the toes. And it is really rotating off the whole foot. And coming back down again. It's a great exercise today. Placing that foot down, transferring weight out the left hand side, stepping out with the right foot to do. And coming back. Um, very simple one. You notice how we, particularly um, when the wild horse drinks water um, and also chasing the seven stars, we use a movement like this where we actually take from the heel, we actually rotate off the heel and we take that foot out perpendicular. Coming back to here, transferring weight over the left hand side. And with the right foot. So this is about increased range of movement, increased range of rotation, particularly good for circulation within the feet, for sensitivity, for enhancing, maintaining and enhancing good, uh, good sensitivity. Particularly important for elderly, uh, so if they do stub their toes on something, it registers with the brain, they can correct themselves. Another reason why we have low central gravity, another reason why we have Centeredness. And when I talk about, when I do go into that meditation stance, we're talking about the Dantian. It's actually the central Dantian. There's one below, there's one higher as well. So this is the center. This is the earth of earth. So this is where we need the center. This is where grounding is. Grounding into, into, the, into the body. That's why I always suggest when we, whenever we go up, sinking down the posture first, and then we go up. the same way as a building. They build a very strong foundation first so they can build from one floor to the other. And even if there's a single floor, I know where this house it's got to have a good foundation. I'm rejecting that. This is a great exercise. This is the white, this is the tiger uh, from the five elements. Love these exercises. So 
so tight as we can, and we just project up. So it's like the movement we do with the elegant white crane stretch and swings. Uh, bottom hand is not lazy, it's simply just supportive in balancing, and the top hand just comes up. So again, a number of things you can do. Okay, so what I'll be doing is going, I'll go through uh, level two, uh, sorry, love hunt two, uh, love hunt two, um, with the exercises as well, and then I'll uh, put that together with level with uh, Love Hun One. Uh, back to front, it doesn't really matter. So we've uh, we've done Love Hun One so many times. Put that together. Uh, next week uh, we'll be doing both uh, both of them in order. Okay. So just to start with, if you need a break by by all means, now have a break, have a drink of water. Um, these videos are safe, so you can always come back. Shoulder width apart like this. First exercise, we have the left hand going over to the right hand side, coming over to the liver, which is arguably the uh, largest organ of the body if you don't count the lungs. So we turn through the waist, we go right to actually come left. Sinking back into posture, breathing out as we come down. Turning through the centre line, turning through the axis line. Hand comes up and it's, it's a block. So we sink back into posture. That hand comes towards the back, of the, to the back of the neck. We sink down and we project out. That hand comes out. So just as much as possible, if you can, uh, bring that hand out and turn it through the body again. This is a spiral green dragon. Six the pearl. First exercise from Mohan two. Breathing in as we come up. Sinking. Great flexibility exercise. If you can bring that hand down, we do project it out. So it's a projection out from the chest. We relax. We have that stretch all the way through. Do this third time. I do this exercise down the beach as often as possible. So we come back. Oh. You have the right hand which comes over. And you can always turn a little bit more through the body. And that enhances all the aspects, the rotational aspects actually through the waist. Uh, very good for lower back as well for the lumbar region. In fact, good for all the, the three major group areas. Uh, through the back as well, because one incorporates into the others, all for one and one for all. Coming back, extending. The only reason why I do stop is just to emphasize that movement, but it is flow, and it's flowing from one movement to another. So as we come up, we naturally just breathe in, and we naturally just breathe out. Coming back into body. Okay. Second exercise. Sinking back into posture. The double dragon. Florix in the clouds. Hands can be loud. Gentle massage throughout the body as well. What I personally like to do is actually massage the kidneys. Pay attention to the uh, to the bladder meridians, which actually run through the back. Strengthen through the back, and of course we have Ming Men there, right gate, through here. So what I personally like to do is actually just pay attention to them rolling over the hands. We're also incorporating the uh, colon of the large intestine um, meridian here, mainly column four, column eleven, but also this this area here. We have the heart, we have the lungs coming down here as well. So. It isn't just one meridian or one or two. It isn't just one aspect. Coming down. Enhancement throughout the body. Hands coming forward. Thumbs are down. 
Little pinkies are up. Projecting up. Releasing. Just relaxing through the shoulders, through the elbows. Key point. This is fundamental. I know some people do have a little bit of trouble doing this, actually coming forward. Lifting, lowering to project. To be, it's like offering a gift. And hands coming back. And always, if you're a little bit unsure of what's happening with the exercise or where to go next, and that's why I always suggest just going slowly. Hands coming over. Little pinkies up. Projecting. So you can always just use this exercise. <sighs> Remember how we do this one actually in Long Hang One. Hands up to here. We're going from side to side. Uh, this is from the. Um, um, the, um, um, the, the the stars uh, coming back chasing the seven stars do that one more, one more time so sinking back the posture to project forward releasing Double drag and flurix in the clouds. Second exercise from low one, two. Back into your horse riding stance, sinking back in the posture. This movement is like three rings and brace the moon. So we sit down, we gather. It's like my right hand is actually supporting my left. We come up, we spiral through the center line, through the body. We turn through the body. That arm comes back in such a way. So it's an axe. This is a this is the low one, chops the wood. So when we do come down, definite. This is going to be a firm movement. Firm, but without any stress. It's a chop and a block. Coming down to the side. Focus is forward. We release. Turning through the body. Uh, coming up through the inside of the spine as well. So imagine that projection coming up. And we come down to the other side. We'll just do one more inside place. So we release. We scoop and we gather. The low hand chops for me. And always coming back in readiness and coming down to chop. The chop at the block. Low hand, that's the laundry, washes the clothes. So big tub, lots of big robes, projection into the tub itself, pushing, turning through the waist, getting the momentum going, making it much easier. So just to use the count here, we do one. And to be it's like a square, but we're running out the corners. We do two. Three, we transfer weight over to the right hand side. See how I've come up with my foot? I'm projecting out with a 45 degree angle here. And what you can do is actually just come up to the toes to here. Uh, empty hand, nice and loose. Empty back of hand, so nothing tight. Coming up, placing that foot down in such a way, and we come down to there. So bringing that foot back in, right hand going to the left hand side. We do one, we do two, we 
we do three. Coming down to the left hand side, uh, I'm just going to come up on the toes to here and place the foot down and to there. Let's do that one more time. Inside. So very good for the abdominals, very good for the lower back. I always think of this exercise, very good for backs. You know a lot of the exercises. Most of the exercises are very good for backs. Do two or plus count. Jet, we transfer weight out the left hand side and we come up and come down. Other side. Do one. Two. This is a very good exercise actually, just in centering alone. All the rotational aspects. You notice how we in the kitchen or something like this, we always just, you know, we're doing something, making you know, well, making a, a cake or whatever. So coming down. So that's the there. Um, and start from here. Project up. We turn through the body, turn through the waist, and push it out. This is the low line, reclines upon the pillow. So when we come back, and this is an exercise I was just showing before. So one hand is down, the other hand is up. In this case, I'm starting from my right hand side, going to my left. My right hand is up. So when I do come over to my right hand side, it's an easy fit. Just relax my hands to hold the ball. I push down with my right hand and push up with my left. I turn through the body. It's like the elegant white crane stretches its wings in one side. I turn again through the body again and pushing out. Pushing out the palms. So arms are never pushed out completely because we don't want to grind bone against bone. We want to sit back in a posture. If we have extremities going out like this, we need to start the base. It's like a crane. When it does push, when it does stand out, it has to have a stable base to keep everything in alignment, particularly when it picks up load. Okay, so hands come over. Right hand on top. This is the third time I do this. So pushing down, pushing up. Rotate through the body. And come back. Now my right hand goes, extends out, my left hand comes up. Easiest way to do this particular movement is just to extend out. We sit back in a posture. And we rotate towards the back. So I always imagine holding on to something very secure here. It's like when I used to do rock climbing, rope sailing. So, down to there. And we stand down. Turning to our right hand side, we push, we project. Holding the ball. This is the third one. So we push out. We come back to there. So my left hand just pushes down. It slides. I always think of two surfaces actually sliding. It's like a, a sliding table which actually comes out in such a way. We can go up to there. It's the easiest way to do it. And then we just rotate through the waist and we project. Very good exercise actually, just for circulation and just for flexibility alone. That's a great exercise to do. Okay, so we're gonna sweep the floor. One hand needs to sweep the floor. So, we start over. The hands, uh, we start with uh, feet apart, I should say. Oh, and we project. So we had that projection. Anytime when we do project with the limbs, being the arms in this case, we project out. So always having a stable base. And see how I have that leading edge coming forward. So that's like the three rings and breast and there. So do one. Bottom hand scoops and gathers to actually come up. And we do two. Projecting out. Very good stretch away from the body. Very good 
but not coming up high, coming low. Staying low to actually extend through the body itself. Do three. Rejecting now. See how we just relax. We do four. When we extend out with the hands, we can bring that foot together. Uh, the fourth, uh, fourth movement is a neutral position. So we extend out again. And when we do the fifth movement, we come out, feet together, we project out, and we come back into position. So we reset. I always think of resetting the computer. We do one. This movement is very easy to do fast, but I'm deliberately slowing down so I can do it slow. We do two. Projecting out to the sides. Flow. Flowing with arms, please. We do three. And flowing throughout the body. Notice how, again, we use the waist. We do four. Four is a neutral position. So you can sit back in the posture. We do five. We project out. And we reset. We come back. Okay. Uh, the um, Tibetan dance. I'll just use my chair as a, as a prop. Just coming over. With the hand movements, shoulder width apart. When we go over to the left hand side, see how my right hand just comes up, actually projects out from the chest. So again, it's like offering a gift. My left hand uh, supporting. It's a block at the top. You can imagine holding on to going to a cave. I used to do a lot of caving as well, holding on to the top of the cave just for support, just to, to feel something tacked up. Hands just drift down. So the movement we do, actually Shibashi 1, with um, gazing at the moon. So we breathe out, we come up. One exercise always reminds me of another. Even if it's just that slight uh, variation or difference or similarity, just to there. <sighs> Breathing in as we come up. Breathing out as we come down. With the feet, we're going to be going from our right to our left hand side. So, sinking back into posture, what I do suggest is actually that foot, that instep of my right foot just coming underneath, into my left, into the popliteal crease. Uh, Bladder 60 is the, uh, is the source point in there, it's a very important point. And sinking back, when we sink directly down in posture, we close. It's like my left leg is actually closing around the instep of my right. So it's a fit, it, you, know, it's, you know, fitting something in, slotting something in, that's what it is. We step out with that right foot to there, up, and I sit back into posture, bringing up my foot to there, our focus is forward. Stepping out, you see a lot of the exercises with this one and also with the uh, um, planting the incense into the urn, you see that one as well, where we uh, actually step out, we plant, we, we feel with our foot first, without moving weight, and that's the example. You see how a cat or a dog walk. They actually place down a paw in such a way, and then they, they move weight when it's safe, and then they do their movement. So we actually have a lot to learn from them. And I'm not talking about the... The domestic cats, I'm talking about the lions and the tigers and panthers. So placing that right foot down, such a way, up, and sinking down. When we do come down, low center of gravity, oh, this isn't so scary. When it's up high, that is scary. Coming down to there. So with this movement, <coughs> excuse me, what I'm going to be doing is actually placing my foot, my insteps into there. And then I do the movement from here. I'm coming back. I'm going to place that right foot down without moving weight. And then I move weight. And then I place my instep into there. 
And that's how I can do the movement. Simply because at the moment I only have half the strength in my left leg. So I need to adjust. We flow, we place at the foot. The foot movement is more important than the, the hands. Well, is the important movement to set up the foundation, not just for the hands, but for the whole body. To sit down to there. So I'm always going to make sure that I have my feet placed in a very safe position first. The Tibetan dance. Just do one more on the left hand side. So very good exercise actually, balance and coordination. And that's why I do it. I've got to have a challenge. We all need challenges in our life. If it's all too easy, we don't learn anything. I'm sure you'd agree. And coming back in the centre. Okay, so placing the incense in the urn. We come over from here, and I'll probably will need this chair as well. So we sit back in the posture. We scoop. We gather. So this movement is like uh, the um, uh, warrior scoops water. We come up. We transfer the weight out the right hand side. We sit, step out. We put to there with our, our left foot, I should say. We sit back in the posture, and we have this gesture. Coming down. We can place the foot behind, we can also place the foot over the side, but just making sure that you have that gait through the shoulders, we have the support through the shoulders. And then bringing up the, I'm just going to use the chair here, bringing up the leg to there, kicking out, and placing the foot over. When we do kick out, I'll use the other side, right foot, so coming up in such a way, so we project. It's like I'm pushing against two walls. And that movement has got to be slow, careful, aligned. I know there's a little bit of a wobble there. Okay, coming over to the right hand side, we transfer the weight over to the left hand side first. We scoop. We gather. Back in the posture. Having that good body alignment as well. Having a good stable knee as well. We need that stability through the knee. Coming back up. I'm just going to do a small expression here. And coming back into centre. Okay. Um, next gesture. What we have. Hands coming down to here. Hands just come down. We scoop. Coming up to the eyes and projecting up. Pushing out. Again, we have that expression. Uh, we do this in the um, the um, uh, wild uh, wild horse drinks water. Pushing out to the sides. Allowing the hands just to relax. Scoop. We gather. Pushing out to the sides. Third moment, we have soft fists. When they come out to the sides like this, we push, we actually project out. Coming over. See how my fist is aligned to see if you can use the open palm. Or you can use the low one hand and project it out. Hands just coming down. Hands to the shoulders to here, pushing up. And the third movement, just with soft fists. 
pushing out to the sides. We come back. We project out. This is the warrior. Arches the bow. Okay. Uh, one movement we need to do just before then is actually two here. We have our hands coming over. Pluck. It's like you've got your car keys there, tissues, whatever. Um, practice the movement. You can always have, if you've got that bench, that's where you put your car keys. That's where you put your tissue box. So it is that rolling motion using all the joints with the fingers and also with the wrist, gauging elbow, gauging shoulder. <sighs> Shoulders got to be nice and relaxed. So we scoop, we gather. See how the hand just comes right over. The body, it comes back out. We can project out with that, with that hook. Now this, we take care of that first. We step out with my left foot and then scan the horizon. We sink back into posture. We push out. Single wheel. We step. We gather. Now with my left hand. Left hand comes over the body. See how the hand just sinks. Elbow just sinks. Shoulder just sinks. Relaxes. So from here. So we come down. We step out. Pushing out with the uh, with the with the whip, and we push out. Single whip. Scanning, pushing, pushing out. Just do one more to the left hand side. Hand coming around, projecting out, stepping out. Pushing out to there. Okay. That's fine. Okay. So I'm going to go back. Oh. When we do come to the close as well, just coming back, sinking back in the posture. This is a gesture, stretching through the back. And also when we take our hands a little bit higher. And we use this quite a lot, actually. We have that stretch. I always think of two capital C's, actually. Stretch, B capital C on this side, B capital C on this side. So when we sink back in the posture, we project out with the hands in such a way. We sink back and hands just fit. See how they just roll out. We roll out the wrists. We relax the palms. There. And the hands come forward. Bend your knees, we come back. Again, that movement throughout the back as well. Very good massage throughout the back. Throughout the back. And this is the second time we do monk in meditation. So simply just relaxing the hands. Coming back into posture. Using this as a meditation stance. Relaxing through the body. We're rolling out the hands. Coming up. Calming the chin. Through the head. If you have symptoms, um, uh, cardiovascular symptoms, in other words, with the, uh, with the heart, 
and also with the chest, if you have problems with the chest as well, focusing upon those areas, that's what I'm trying to say. And if you do have intestinal disorders, uh, worry, um, anxiety, stress, uh, anger, resentment, uh, problems with digestion, ingestion, assimilation also for elimination, uh, focusing upon those areas as well. Bringing healing, bringing positivity, bringing relaxation to those areas. We step back the left foot, we step back with the right. We have transformation from the warrior, the professional warrior, uh, having no self esteem, no self respect, into someone who's more humble, uh, respectful, mindful, mindfully aware. Coming back into centre. Relaxing through the body. Okay, I'm going to go through the latest for you. I know that many of my students actually have um, uh, emailed me and also sent me messages that they love the latest. So, simple exercise here shoulder width apart. Again, you can always adjust your position. Preparation. Expanding through the body, opening up the body. A key point about this exercise, this preparation, is just to open up the body and then to condense, to contract. So we're moving everything physically, emotionally, mentally. And some people would even say spiritually. Sinking back into posture. Allowing the body to relax, to condense, to contract, so it can expand even more. This is the young aspect. Projecting up through top of head and coming back into centre. Waving arms in the air, the horse running stance. Total transport, contracting into the body, projecting the head through, holding onto the shoulders and squeezing the shoulders to get that stale res resonant air out as much as possible. And then expanding. From every contraction comes expansion. From every yin aspect comes yang. Snow rabbit digs the earth, scooping and gathering into the body and then release it. Excuse me. Whatever goes towards the back comes towards the front. Scooping for a spring water. Pouring it by the neck. The lotus flower blooms out of the spine. Love this movement here because we use all the joints with the fingers and also the wrist engaging elbows, and going, engaging shoulders, stretching up to where it come down, form facility. From here it's like pushing up, I always think of pushing up, two big heavy objects. And coming up on the toes, going up as far as what you wish, for as long as what you wish, to stretch, and different degrees of stretch as to what you want as well. And then, now forget to relax. So the right hand just stays on the right hip like this, we gather in the palm of the left hand. We come up to centre line, we're breathing in, and when we push across, we breathe out. So there's a point where we can't push any further, rotating through the body, using whole body engagement. So the movement actually starts from the foot, comes up through the leg, through the torso, and from the shoulder, and rise up the palm. So we push. And we release. Turn waist, push hands, or to push the door, or to push the temple door, or to face the wind, or to push the palm, or to press the wind. From the belly button, we lift the sky. To press the earth. Always bending from the waist, bending from the knees, please. Only going down as far as what you feel comfortable. To scoop together. Right hand pushes down, left hand pushes up. 
then we release again. And that's why I mentioned that movement, just the ships in the night, just passing in the night. Dynamic stretch, right across the chest, right across the back. Last two movements, stone breath, fix the ear. We start the form, we finish the form. Waving arms in the air and the horse riding stance. I'll go through that again slowly. Um, I'll go through it quietly. See how many how many movements you can remember. Sinking back in the posture. This is a good one too. Just rolling back the shoulders. Hands rolling away. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brad Holmes, Tai Chi Goldcoast. Look forward to seeing you next. Thank you.